Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. The Kansas Wheat Commission is a grower-funded, grower-governed advocacy organization working to secure the future of Kansas wheat in the global market. Through international trade, research, export system studies, and the continual improved varieties of wheat. Its mission is to increase wheat producer productivity and profitability through research, education, and domestic and international market development. The Kansas Wheat Commission is funded by a voluntary two-cent assessment on each bushel of wheat produced in Kansas. Scott Vale Halen is the chairman of the Kansas Wheat Commission and is traveling to South America to maintain the market share in those countries. I'll have the opportunity the end of February to travel to the Latin American countries of uh, Colombia, Costa Rica, and Mexico uh, at a trade team sponsored by U.S. Wheat. Uh, we're going there to promote the sale of hard red winter wheat, and not, not necessarily hard red winter, but all classes of wheat. But my main concern is the hard red winter wheat, which we grow here in Kansas. Uh, they are big customers all through Central and America for us. We have approximately an 80% uh, uh, market share in those countries, and we hope to maintain and improve that market share. Any exports are very important to Kansas wheat. Kansas has to export approximately 50% of its crop overseas. Uh, the domestic use will use the rest of that, our production, but basically year in and year out, 50% of our production has to go overseas to keep our markets strong. The Wheat Associates is the export market development organization for the U.S. wheat industry. USW promotes quality and value of all six U.S. wheat classes to wheat buyers, millers, bakers, food processors, and government officials in more than 100 countries around the world. Kansas Wheat, uh, we sp help support the U.S. Wheat Associates. So it's a national organization of all the states that produce wheat. Uh, they use funds that uh, uh, emit. I'm sorry. They use funds provided by the U.S. government to help promote and feed uh, the poor, poor sectors of those countries where exports are needed with uh, export enhancement programs, uh, funds to help them purchase, loan guarantees, that type of thing, so that they can purchase our products so they can feed their people. The Kansas Wheat Commission has many sponsored groups internationally and works very hard for producers. In terms of trade? <laughs> well, in terms of uh, international relationships. International relationships. With our new office here in Manhattan, the, the Kansas Wheat Commission, Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, have sponsored many, many, many uh, groups from overseas, come through our offices. They, they see what the Kansas farmers are doing here with research and investment in our own products. They enjoy being able to come and visit the harvest fields during, during wheat harvest, they see where the product comes from and get to track it all the way through. Well, I think you just answered my second question. So I think, I think Thank you for that. watching this episode of Farm Factor on Ag Aim in Kansas. For more of Farm Factor, or if you want to view this program again, visit us on www.agaimincansas.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. So have a good day with good luck. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers.